Good morning, Maria. Good morning, Luca. Nice to meet you. Lovely to meet you too. <laughs> Today we open a uh, fragmented identities ex exhibition of uh, Borders Art Fair 2021. We are, we are here in uh, the room Contemporary Art Space in the San Marco Square in Venice and um, we are really pleased to have you as uh, the first uh, artist to interview and we open this exhibition with uh, this meeting and this talk. So, first of all, I would like to know more about uh, your artistic production. Today we are presenting two artworks on the walls and two artworks on, on the glass. And I would like that you explain us more about your artistic research, please. Um, so, I guess the importance is I paint the oils um, to be replicated in stained glass. And so I work with the different colours to create a sensation, to trigger the senses. Um, so these two I actually, Dance the Joy and Dance the Spirit, I created in London during lockdown. Um, I've done many other oils and I'm hoping to be able to replicate all of them in stained glass. But I did Dance the Spirit um, because it's the energy of creation, the inner essence of the creativity within, the connection to source. So I use the different colours to emulate that feeling of, you know, green is the creativity, the inspiration that drives us, you know, orange is the heart, the passion that fuels you, red is what's grounding, the purple is the spirit. So all the colours fused together represent that essence of creative freedom. And then I always work with numbers also. So, you know, the seven is for me the, the, the muses, the seven muses of the gods, yeah? So each one of those carries one of the key elements of the muse moving forward. Um, and dancer Joy is in the same spirit. It's more, she's more internalized, more like driving from within the essence from her spirit to create. And Dance of Joy is sharing the joy of creation, of that liberty of creation. With Mandela communication, um, obviously it's inspired from the flower of life, which is the, it's universal. Um, but this one I call a communication because of the colors that I've used and it's meant to trigger, I guess, a healing within so that you can communicate openly what you're feeling, um, either with somebody that you're communicating with or communicating with your own inner self to create. So all the mandalas have a different essence and different colors that I use within them to, because it comes from the purity from within and then it kind from of triggers center. out. Yeah. And obviously the turquoise and these are the universal colors, but this carries 144 hand cut crystals, um, which is a, it's one of the golden mean numbers. So if we're looking at the Fibonacci spirals and all of that, yeah, exactly. so I, yeah, I work with alchemy a lot in a sensible way, not in a Ooh, kind of way. <laughs> you, you work on different media yeah. representing your concepts and um, your, um, your uh, artistic uh, expression. So what is the, the balance and the communication between, because call, between the two uh, media we are presenting today? Because the meaning and the expression of colors change from canvas uh, to, to the glass. Which is the beauty of glass because um, with the canvas you can get the certain textures or essence of the color coming through. But with the glass you can combine them. You get the different modalities of that same color coming through with the different tone. And then when they actually, when the sun comes through and the colors all merge, it's actually quite, I hate to say it, but it's actually quite beautiful, <laughs> you know? I've been, sometimes I'll just stand there and just look at all this merging of colors and I just kind of fall into the space. And, and do you usually um, do, uh, like in this way, you create the same work on two different medias every time? It's almost like designing rather than designing. I'll sketch ah, It's like a model, exactly. but it's an artwork at the same time. Yeah, and then that, I do it to scale. Is the basement of the, yeah. the works on, the, on glass. Yeah, it was easier to paint at home because I didn't have a studio to do the stained glass. So yeah. I would spend, I mean, I've been painting the oils for a very long time. Um, and it came to the point now where I went, it's time to make the stained glass, it's to make it a reality. It was and a do dream. you create these uh, artworks inside your uh, studio too? In this one I did in London. Okay. Um, and then this one we did in Galicia. 
and I had the support of somebody to help me because he actually had the studio space. I was setting mine up at that point, but now I've got the studio and I've started to cut Dance the Joy. And, and I get commissions from people for their own kind of um, bespoke designs, which is fantastic. Um, but I, I guess I'm the sort of stained glass artist, uh, you know, to do your typical for doorways, colour, you know, it, I think there's people for that. It's, um, I think what I like to create, I work with the client to create what they're desiring, but with a bit of a different modern kind of contemporary feel. So right now I've been doing some peacocks, somebody asked me, and so I sketched them and I thought, oh, I want to do these in the oil. So I've done these, this large kind of two peacocks, but I can't wait to do it in the stained glass, yes. actually. <laughs> it's going to look quite Great, lovely. Maria. Yeah. Thanks for uh, telling us your story and uh, we will follow for sure your work and uh, I'm, I'm really curious to see some photos from your studio and maybe to visit it in person mm. as soon as I can and uh, thanks again for being here. That's alright. I think one of the important things too is I really want to work with architects. It's important um, to be able to combine some of the structures that I see. I just can't help but feel oh, it would really lend beautifully with a nice stained glass piece there. So just putting that out there. Yeah. <laughs> you, you have a lot of uh, great examples in Spain about uh, architecture, contemporary architecture, and not only architect uh, contemporary. Mm -mm. It's so true, it, it could be re really a great inspiration for you and for your work. Yeah. Uh, thank you. I really thank you again. The time. Enjoy <laughs> the show. Ciao. Grazie.